everybody, I'm Catherine, the Ranking Gal. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up by smashing that like button down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. We really hope you enjoy our video and thanks for watching. The definition of a femme fatale is an attractive and seductive woman, especially one who is likely to cause distress or disaster to a man who becomes involved with her. So, in this list, we rank the sexiest, and if you're a male protagonist in the same movie as her, the most dangerous female villains in movie history. And so the criteria that we used for this ranking is their beauty, their sexiness, and of course, the deadliness of their character. Hi, and welcome to another video from Ultimate Rankings. I'm Mark, the Ranking Guy. The rankings on our channel are the result of serious research and relative criteria unlike the many other fluff videos out there. The goal of our channel is to bring you the most accurate, interesting, and informative top 25 rankings in all of sports and entertainment. Let's get to the rankings. At number 25, we have Lori Quaid, played by Sharon Stone in Total Recall. She plays a spy working for the Mars Colony Security Force and is assigned to watch over Douglas Quaid. By posing as his devoted wife, all the while being married to a character named Richter, who works for the same company. Needless to say, she does not have Quaid's best interest in mind, and his life is in constant danger throughout the movie. Doug, there's something I want you to know. You were the best assignment I ever had. Really. I'm honored. You sure you don't want to? For old time's sake. Come on. If you don't trust me, you can tie me up. At number 24, we have Angelique Bouchard, played by Eva Green in Dark Shadows. She plays a powerful witch who is deeply in love with Barnabas Collins, but he turns down her seductive advances for a woman closer to his social standing. This rejection and her jealousy leads to her using witchcraft to wreak havoc on the entire Collins family. Do you really think anyone would believe a word he said? I've been an upstanding member of this community for 200 years. Your name may have changed, but you remain succubus of Satan. Volga! At number 23, we have Amy Elliott Dunn, played by Rosamund Pike in Gone Girl. She played a brilliant, calculating psychopath who contrived an elaborate plan to fake her own death and frame her husband for murdering her as punishment for his infidelity. Her character and the plot goes through lots of twists and turns. A crime scene kind of bleed. You need to clean poorly, like he would. Clean and bleed, bleed and clean, and leave a little something behind. At number 22, we have Sabine Moreau by French actress Léa Seydoux. Mission Impossible, Ghost Protocol. She plays a cold-blooded assassin who pays herself in diamonds and gets a hold of the nuclear launch codes that Ethan Hunt is after as well. Sit. Where are my coats? Where are my diamonds? At number 21, we have Dr. Julia Harris, played by Jennifer Aniston in Horrible Bosses. She plays a manipulative and aggressive boss who sexually harasses her subordinate, Dale, on a regular basis. Her behavior gets even worse in Horrible Bosses, too. Do you remember your first week here, Dale? When I changed the crown on your second bicuspid? Yeah. Took a few pictures of the procedure. Oh my god. Right? Rape. What? Rape, rape. That's a rape. At number 20, we have Ravina, played by Charlize Theron in Snow White and the Huntsman. She plays a dangerously powerful sorceress and the cruel ruler of the kingdom of Tabor. Because of her extreme beauty, she was considered the fairest of them all. 
But now that Snow White has surpassed her in beauty, she is determined to kill her stepdaughter. Where is she? She was chased into the dark forest where the men lost her. She's no good to me in the dark forest lost! I need her heart! You failed! At number 19, we have Madison Lee, played by Demi Moore, in Charlie's Angels Full Throttle. She plays an accomplished rogue ex-angel planning to sell sensitive information to crime rings. Hello, angels. Hola. When I was an angel, we used guns. At number 18, we have Regina George, played by Rachel McAdams in Mean Girls. She plays the beautiful and manipulative Queen Bee in this teen comedy film, in which she delivers many memorable one-liners. Oh my god! I love your skirt. Where did you get it? Uh, it was my mom's in the 80s. <gasps> Vintage! So adorable. Thanks! <laughs> that is the ugliest effing skirt I've ever seen. At number 17, we have Baroness, played by Sienna Miller in G.I. Joe, The Rise of the Cobra. She plays the hero's ex-flame, who's gone to the dark side and attempts to steal the nano-sized robots that can dissolve virtually anything. Hello. You have to admit, you had that coming. If you had let me stage the assault at your precious factory, I could have contained the situation. This had nothing to do with him. At number 16, we have Poison Ivy, played by Uma Thurman in Batman and Robin. She plays a former good-hearted botanist and scientist who, after a botched attempt by Dr. Woodrow, is transformed into a seductive eco-terrorist who is half woman and half plant. Why not send Junior home early? I've got some wild oats to sow. At number 15, we have Oren Ishii, played by Lucy Liu, Kill Bill Volumes 1 and 2. She plays a member of the Deadly Viper Assassination Squad that took part in the vicious attack against the bride at her wedding's rehearsal. Later, the bride comes for revenge, and they have a memorable duel in the snow. <laughs> Silly Caucasian girl likes to play with samurai swords. At number 14, we have Sil, played by Natasha Henstridge, in Species. She plays a genetically engineered alien-human hybrid who breaks free from the captivity of a laboratory. She embarks on a killing spree while also discovering her powerful instinct to mate. Not necessarily in that order. Please. I want a baby. <laughs> At number 13, we have Catherine Murtoil, played by Sarah Michelle Gellar, Cruel Intentions. She plays a manipulative and seductive Manhattan prep school student who makes a bet with another student to deflower the headmaster's daughter. That would make me a slut, wouldn't it? Cecile, everybody does it. It's just that nobody talks about it. So it's like a secret society. That's one way of looking at it. Idiot. At number 12, we have Maleficent, played by Angelina Jolie in the movie Maleficent, loosely based on the Disney classic Sleeping Beauty. She plays a powerful fairy living in a magical forest and protects a bordering human kingdom. Prince Philip has, um... Disappeared. Now, now Philip has... Yellow fever? 
No, wait. Leprosy. No, Mrs. Prince Philip has asked Aurora if she'll become his... Don't. Ruin my morning. At number 11, we have TX, played by Christina Loken, in Terminator 3, Rise of the Machines. She plays an even more advanced Terminator than the T-1000 from Terminator 2, and her primary mission is to terminate John Connor. At number 10, we have Mystique, played first by Rebecca Roman and later by Jennifer Lawrence in the X-Men franchise. They play a subspecies known as mutants who are born with superhuman abilities. They are shapeshifters who can mimic the appearance and voice of any person with exquisite precision. scar quite like you. Me want an apology. At number nine, we have Harley Quinn, played by Margot Robbie in Suicide Squad. She plays a former psychiatrist seduced by the Joker into becoming his crazed partner in crime. Her character is funny, crazy, scary, and of course, sexy. I can recommend a good therapist. (laughs) Why? Because I'm bored. I need a victim, a mind to pry apart and spit in. Just leave it, mate. She's a rabbit hole. At number eight, we have The Devil, played by Elizabeth Hurley in Bedazzled. She plays a sexy female version of The Devil and offers to give Elliot seven wishes in exchange for his soul. Naturally, like the original, the wishes are never as straightforward as he would have hoped. Promise not to tell anyone? Okay. Cross your heart and hope to die? Yeah. I'm the devil. Okay. At number seven, we have Emma Frost, played by January Jones in X-Men First Class. She plays a superhuman mutant with a killer body whose superpowers include telepathy and morphing into a diamond form of a human. Where's his hazel? <laughs> ah, we don't want the colonel to be late. Come right. At number six, we have Ava Lord, played by Eva Green in Sin City, a dame to kill for. She plays a professional devourer of men. She's had numerous affairs and destroyed dozens of them. What are you talking about, innocence? I knew I could count on you. Sex always made you stupid, ready to believe anything. (laughs) You've just made me a very rich woman. Do me one last favor, lover. Stay still long enough for me to blow your brains out. At number five, we have Catwoman, played by Michelle Pfeiffer in Batman Returns. She plays a lonely, frustrated secretary that was pushed over the edge into obsession and a life of crime. As Catwoman, she stole every scene as she purred around in a super skin-tight black leather cat suit. Always confusing your pistols with your brides. Don't hurt us, lady. Our take-home's less than 300. You're overpaid. Hit the road. At number four, we have Jennifer Check, played by Megan Fox in Jennifer's Body. She plays a high school flag girl who was sacrificed in a satanic ritual by a rock band in exchange for their success in the music business. 
In order to sustain and nourish her strength, she seduces boys on the school campus in order to feed on their flesh and blood. And now I'm meeting your boyfriend. See, at least I'm consistent. I am going to eat your soul and shit. Uh, you only murder boys. I go both ways. At number three, we have Xenia on a top, played by Famke Jansen, in Golden Eye. She plays a former Soviet fighter pilot and ruthless assassin with sexual sociopathy, where she loves to crush her mates to death with her thighs during sex. What a way to go. At number two, we have Catherine Trammell, played by Sharon Stone in Basic Instinct. She plays a brilliant crime novelist and charismatic narcissist who manipulates everyone around her, largely for her own amusement. She has had many affairs with both sexes, which usually end when she discards and kills them. I'd have to be pretty stupid to write a book about killing and then kill somebody the way I described it in my book. I'd be announcing myself as the killer. I'm not stupid. It's nice. Hi again. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up by smashing that like button down below and be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the notification bell so you don't miss our next video. We really hope you enjoyed our video and I am dying to find out who's number one. And at number one. We have Santanica Pandemonium, played by Salma Hayek, in From Dusk Till Dawn. She plays a voluptuous exotic dancer with a propensity for snakes, who also happens to be a vampire queen. That's quite a sexy and deadly combination. <laughs> Hey, just a reminder that we do both sports and entertainment ranking videos, so please check them all out at our video channel. We don't expect anyone to completely agree with our rankings, so please let us know what your rankings are and what you agree and disagree with in the comment section. And feel free to let us know what ranking videos you'd like to see next. And thanks for watching.